<laughs> it booty is popping in oh. it. Look at that one. Oh. I'm Kaylee. Um, I was the bride, and this is these are my best friend and sister, um, Katie and Jodie, who are my maid of honours on my wedding day. I had a phone call off his mum, um, who had informed me that the groom had gone at two o'clock in the morning. Um, for a walk which I didn't see as anything different he hadn't come back at that point but normally he tends to go on walks if he ever feels anxious or stressed on I was yeah. not crying at all I was I was hopeful I said he will be there because hand on heart I believed that he would be there mm -hmm. when I was getting my makeup done and a couple of calls from his dad um, as to which then he said to the girls that he'd gone and he wasn't coming back and he, which he told his dad that he wouldn't be because he was about four hours away from the actual venue when we had an hour to get married and um, that's when I knew. We asked her what she wanted to do then and Kaylee said look all my family and all my friends have come from all over they spent so much money on my day I spent so much money on my day I, I still want to have it whether he's going to be there or not so like a trooper she decided to go ahead with the day anyway. I arrived um, with my brother and I saw these two girls outside with um, some of the groomsmen. The wedding arrangers it was. Yeah, well, and the, re the registrars were there and they were crying too. And that's when I knew that he wasn't there. I kind of was a bit like, I don't like this. I want to get going. I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me. I don't want pity. I just want to carry on. So the staff literally bought you a shot of tequila, you a shot of tequila <laughs> whatever time it was. And, and you told your chin strap up and off we went. Yeah, yeah. and then uh, they asked uh, what we wanted to do for the entrance if we still wanted to do one and I thought why not I got the groomsmen to get involved with it because they stayed and supported I wanted it. yeah they supported me so I wanted to thank them and show them it was their day as much as mine we had speeches I was never going to make a speech but I wanted to, to thank people for being there because for staying yeah, yeah. yeah. it was a very strange situation and I would have understood if anybody went I wasn't expecting anybody to stay they asked if I wanted to do a first dance and I've always dreamed of dancing with my dad because um, because he's older than what you kind of your average dad tends to be at this age, he's not gonna necessarily be there. Yeah. Yeah. So it's always something I've dreamed about having a, a dance with my dad and just to celebrate the groomsmen and my brothers because my brothers were there for me throughout the day. As you can see from this occasion, I haven't been left alone at no. one point. So that's made me feel 10 times better the fact that I haven't been alone. Thank <laughs> you.